now for my behavior because I have not even started filming this video yet and I can tell you that it's gonna be it's gonna be bad. Hi guys so I wasn't planning on filming today but I got home from running some errands and there was a beautiful box it wasn't this big but there was a beautiful box sitting on my porch I totally forgot that I placed an order with sephora.com I took everything out of the box but I have not opened anything yet and some of the stuff I'm super excited about so I thought it would be kind of fun to do like an unboxing even though I already took it out of the box it doesn't matter I'm not in filming mode I don't have like my normal filming makeup on so I'm, I'm apologizing for my hair my face whatever's wrong I just wore the sweater in a video whatevs I'm filming a haul because I can't control myself from digging in everything so I'm gonna start the first couple things I have aren't from Sephora but I just got them so I wanted to share them with you while I'm filming a haul. The first thing I got is from Marshalls. These are two Borghese soaps that I found. The first one is the Active Mud Soap for Face and Body and what are you? The Foaming Bar for Face and Body. The mud one kind of sucks everything out of your skin and then the foaming one is a cleanser so I couldn't decide on which one I wanted so I got both and these were $9.99 a piece which is really good because I think on Borghese's website these are 20 or 22 so yeah if you guys have a Marshalls near you get you some Borghese love these I've had I think I had the mud one before and I really liked it so the next thing I got again not from Sephora but I got this L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Pore Vanisher and I have used it a couple times. I'm not sure how I feel about it. If any of you use this, let me know what you think about it. It's a really, or a, not really new, but it's a fairly new product. It's supposed to diminish the look of your pores over time, but the texture of this, it almost feels like a primer to me. It's more of like a moisturizer, but I don't know. It kind of feels like a mix between benefits professional and a moisturizer and it says smooth over entire face am and pm use alone or as the last step in your skincare routine i just feel like it's a little bit heavy but that's just me i'm totally obsessed with their texture perfector serum this is probably my third pumpy tube of it it's pumpy tube this is probably my third bottle and I love this stuff so much so I wanted to try this but like I said I don't know it's kind of it's kind of weird I've never used anything with that texture before okay now getting into my Sephora stuff I'm so excited so I got two foundations the first one is the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel and yes I already have this foundation but the one that I have is my summer shade and it's so dark that I cannot make it work for right now because I'm super pale so I got the shade bisque medium oh yeah that looks like it's gonna be perfect for me let's put a little pumpy on my hand oh yeah that's like the perfect shade can you guys see it there uh-huh I did good it's hard to buy foundation online but I think I scored with this one so if you guys have not tried this foundation it is so pricey but if you have dry skin oh my gosh it's so hydrating but it doesn't make you look too dewy but it definitely has a dewy finish I love it it's probably my favorite next to my Urban Decay Naked Skin this is it this is my favorite foundation so I kind of been dying because I haven't been able to use mine so I finally sucked it up and bought another one. Ooh, I almost threw that at ya. Okay the next thing I got is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in Fiji or Fuji. Fiji. Again I already own this foundation but it's super dark for me for right now so I got Fiji and it looks like it's going to be a good match. The shade selection on the NARS Sheer Glow is very odd. They're super yellow and I'm yellow based like I have yellow undertones but they're even a little bit too much for me this one doesn't look like it's too bad so yeah excited I could buy foundation every day I love to get new foundations oh my god I'm so excited about this you guys I, oh, I have to control myself this is the Josie Marin intensive hydrating treatment pure organ milk 
Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, I see rose gold. Oh, look how pretty. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So this, it says massage three to five drops onto clean face day and night, finish with 100% pure argan oil. So this is kind of like a serum. Let's see what it says here. Revolutionary formula that pairs the deep hydration of purified water with skin rejuvenating micro droplets of Josie's 100% pure argan oil. Lightweight yet super intensive, penetrates deeply, absorbs quickly, fortifies and repairs skin at the cellular level. I heard so many good things about this. Oh my God, the packaging is huh, so beautiful. Oh, I love it. Let's get a little tester of it, see what it feels like. So it's like a white color. Oh, it's super silky smooth. Yeah, it feels like a serum. It's not thick like a moisturizer. Oh, but it feels nice. My hand's super soft. Oh yeah, I'm excited about this. So you guys will definitely be hearing more about this, hopefully in a favorites video. Okay, the next thing I got, and you guys are gonna be like, are you serious? What is wrong with you? I got a big Benefit Professional. And I know I said I didn't care for this, but let me explain. The one that I had that I was using was probably three years old and after watching some review videos and just videos with people using this I came to realize that I think mine was a little bit old and funky so I wanted to get another one because people absolutely rave about this and the older I get the larger my pores are getting hence all the pore erasers and pore minimizers my mom uses this so if I ended up not liking it I will just give it to my mom so yeah got another one I'll let you guys know if this one works any better for me I really want this to work and hopefully it will so yeah good transition there Nicole okay, the next thing I got I didn't really want but I've had so many of you ask me to do a review on this product this is the Too Faced chocolate bar eyeshadow collection Ooh, made with 100% natural cocoa powder. So I guess it does smell like chocolate. That was going to be my next question. So let's crack this baby open. I was not really interested in this, but when I saw it, I was like, I probably should get it because so many of you have asked me about it. Oh, it's so cute. It looks like a big chocolate bar. So, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, maybe I did want this and just didn't know it. See, you guys are pretty awesome. You make me buy stuff that I don't really want, and then maybe I'll end up loving it. So that's what it looks like. It's all neutral shades. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. It looks like most of the shades are satin shades, which is my favorite type of eyeshadow. I don't really care for matte shades, and shimmers on a daily basis can be a little bit too much, so... Oh, I'm excited. Here, let's swatch a couple of them. Oh, let's do this green one. Oh, oh my gosh, they're really pigmented. Look at that green one on my pinky. That's this one, where is it? Right here on the very bottom left. My lighting's kind of, there it goes. Whenever I hold stuff up, it like changes the lighting. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to do an entire video on just this product. Oh! Love it. I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for making me get this. Okay, moving on. Let me get this eyeshadow off of me before I get it everywhere. Okay, so the rest of the things that I got are all lip products. So let's get this out of the way. I got two more Fresh Sugar lip treatments. This is my favorite chapstick lip balm type product ever. One of the like five products that I cannot live without. I seriously urge everyone to try this at some point in their life it is amazing with a big broadway hand motion okay the next thing i got is from buxom this is the full on lip polish in dolly the packaging's kind of cute ooh oh it's kind of sparkly i didn't think it was going to have any shimmer to it but that's what it looks like yeah, it's the traditional buxom scent, like very mint, minty. Okay, let me give you guys a swatchy poo. Oh, it's more mauve than I thought it was going to be. It's really light. 
I thought it was going to have more color to it, but it's really pretty. I thought it was going to be more of a lighter pink, but I don't know. We'll see. This would be pretty over a nude lip, and it smells good. The next one I got is from Bare Minerals. This is the Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in... Oh gosh, it's on the floor. Sorry. This is the Marvelous Moxie Lipstick in Be Free. And I have Fly High, and it's one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. <gasps> oh my god, that is the most gorgeous nude. Look at that color. This is my kind of nude. This reminds me of my Too Faced Nude Beach, which is my favorite nude lipstick of life. They're pretty much the exact same color. Okay, well, the formula on these Marvelous Moxie lipsticks is they are so creamy. Let me swatch it for you guys. Yeah, that looks very similar to my Nude Beach, which is what I have on right now, actually, but I have gloss over it. So, got that little guy. And then from OCC, Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics, I got the Lip Tar in Digitalis. I'm, this is probably the most exciting thing that I got. I have been wanting this for so long and they're always out of stock. That's what it looks like. Oh my gosh, that is so, so gorgeous. Okay, let's give a little swatch. Now I have some of these. If you guys have never tried them, you need the tiniest drop. Like that amount that I just put on is too much. But let me kind of blend it in so you guys can see. Oh my God, that is so pigmented. It's it's insane how pigmented they are. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. I want to put it on right now. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, okay, so I got that. i like dying over this. Oh my gosh, that is... Oh. I got the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Power Pigment in Exposed. And they kind of redid these. I have one of the old lip surgeons, and I really like it, so I wanted to try one of the new ones. Oh, that's a little bit more nude than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be pink, but it's actually nude. So again, I went crazy on the nude lip products. And there's a nude lip tag going around that I think I'm going to do. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. Did I even show you that? I'll do a close-up because you guys aren't going to be able to see it. It smells like mint, but it's very, very faint. So these are nice for every day just to kind of slap on. They're kind of like a lip balm and a lip gloss mixed. Not a gloss, but like it's a lip balm with color pretty much. Sorry. <laughs> okay. The last two things I got are from Urban Decay. They are the Ultra Nourishing Naked Lip Glosses. And I got Love Child and Walk of Shame. So this one here is Love Child. Oh my god, that packaging is gorgeous. Look at that packaging. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, let's look at the color. I know. I, I'm sorry. It smells exactly the same as the Buxom lip glosses. So let's see this color. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, snaps. That is so pretty. I love this packaging. Oh, I hope I like these because how fancy would this be to pull out of your purse and put on? You'd feel like a diva. A diva! The other one I got is Walk of Shame, and this one's more of a nude color. Ooh, it has sparkle in it, and I kind of like it. it. Smells the same. <laughs> There's a shocker. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that, but I'll do close-ups of everything. It's really pretty. It's just a traditional nude, but it has a little tiny, tiny bit of shimmer in it. This packaging, I know I've said it, but oh my gosh, it is freaking gorgeous. Okay, so that's everything, guys. That is my haul. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Like I said, I wasn't planning on filming another haul because I just did one, but I had to. I wanted to share all this fun stuff with you guys. I had, if anybody's wondering, which I don't really need to explain myself, but I still had money on a gift card left over from Christmas. I got mad Sephora gift cards for Christmas, so 
Not that I need to explain myself. I work hard so I can play hard. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I know, just go off on a rant, Nicole, for no reason. I'm sorry that I'm a little crazy today. I don't know what's up with me. I did have two big cups of coffee, so that could have something to do with it. Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Oh my god, I just died and went to freaking heaven. Freaking heaven. Mm. What's happening? This is... Why are you in my room? Toe-faced. Chocolate bar. Toe-faced? This is this. This is toe-faced chocolate bar. And inside of it, it has chocolate that you can eat. And it tastes real snazzy good. Mmm. Have fun eating your face chocolate. Thanks. What's this, what's Duke doing? He's kind of licking your stuff. Oh my god, oh my god! These are the kind of products that, that shit happens. Shit happens when products look like this. People get hurt. I didn't know that I needed you, but now that you're here, we might as well be friends, right? Stay right. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, when I was out running errands today, there's a shopping area that's like 20 minutes away from me where all the stores are. There's Target, Kohl's, all kind of stuff. And when I was going to Starbucks, I saw this sign and it said, Coming soon, yes. Ulta! Freaking Ulta! I have to drive like almost an hour away to get to Ulta. But it's gonna be by my house. It'll be right by my house. Right there. I can just shoot down. Just shoot right down. I mean, it seriously is gorgeous. Oh god, wait, I'm drooling. Do you know how people just drool?